He was born blind in a shelter in Louisiana. I'm Emmeline. <laughs> I'm Emmeline, and this is Virgil's story for GeoBeats. His mom, we don't know how she ended up there, but she was totally healthy, and she gave birth to three blind dogs. All of our dogs have always been adopted, and special needs dogs just have a really, really hard time getting a home. But the idea of blind sounded just way too difficult to us. We did a lot of research, and we were looking up all of these things on how to have a blind dog, and we applied for him to adopt him anyway. Marshall. We met him, and then all of those concerns just went away immediately. Amazing. We have never needed any of the tips that we had from people on how to have a blind dog. He's just a dog. <laughs> he went straight into our yard with our other dogs. So they wanted to play and he didn't have any fear. We tried to carry him up the stairs and he was like, put me down, I can do it myself. He's three now. We always joke that he doesn't act any different than he did at three months. Everyone who meets him around our neighborhood, we have to remind people that he's blind because they have no idea and they usually don't believe us. And they say, he must be able to see shadows or something. He can't see anything at all. Virgil. He was born without his retinas attached, so it's always been pure black for him. Virgil. Happy birthday, buddy. And you would be amazed at how well he gets around. Oh, he's giving her kisses. <laughs> he knows exactly where all the furniture is and just hops on and off like he owns the place. <laughs> we always have to remind people you can't just put things down where you left them. We will have like guests come and they'll leave their chair out instead of pushing it in at the dinner table. And he's like, why did I just walk into a chair? If you take him on a walk, he leads the way. He thinks he needs to be out front showing her other dogs how to do it, even though he can't see what's in front of him. <laughs> I take him on hikes, and nobody would ever think that you could do that with a blind dog. He is usually wearing a shirt for practical reasons. Roll over. Oh, that's a spin. That's a spin. He's allergic to grass, so it helps him to not get a rash when he goes outside. Virgil taught me to understand human disability better. There are so many people out there living with various disabilities that it's just the only life they've known, that it's just their life, and they are not lesser because of it. Hi, baby. People with disabilities, dogs with disabilities, can do literally anything. I'm gonna try to eat it like a monkey. This is our foster, Elijah. He's deaf and blind. Because Virgil was so important to us, we decided that the best thing we could do to pay everything back was to foster for special needs dogs. Virgil? I never think of Virgil as a blind dog anymore. I love him and he's my favorite thing in the world. Mm -hmm.